much snow this February. It's been a great month for those wanting to go sledding, including the few folks you still see riding the old wooden flexible flyer sleds. News 12 New Jersey's Brian Donahue took a ride through history with a visit to a museum dev devoted to the sled that was invented right here in New Jersey. Sledding down Stokes Hill in Moorestown on an 80 year old flexible flyer sled. This is more than a New Jersey bucket list item for me. This is living history. I've always wanted to sled on the hill. It is the hill. See, Stokes Hill sits across the street from the old home of Samuel Leeds Allen, inventor of the flexible flyer used by generations. Allen is believed to have tested the sleds here. These particular sleds, oh, yeah. they belong to Phil Snow. Yep, that's his real name, whose collection is on display here, just down the road at the Flexible Flyer yeah, Sled Museum at the Morristown Public Library. And eventually, they went to the era. Why? Because they wanted to give you a sense of speed. The museum opened five years ago after Morristown rebuilt its municipal facilities. And the space was available. At the same time, my wife wanted me to uh, get all my sleds that I collected over the past 30 years out of the house. <laughs> There's about 26 sleds on display from the 36 inch Firefly model built between 1890 and 1900 that sold for two bucks to the giant model number six that's more than eight feet long. It was designed for six people. To the Flexi Racer, a sled with wheels sold from 1932 to 1968 as Leeds sought to expand the market into snowless regions of the country. The, the old sleds are still good. People can sled on a 100-year-old sled. Even without taking a ride, anyone who grew up riding a sled like these can almost hear the sound of those runners. Sleds that tell of a time when products were made in America and they were made to last. And childhood was both more dangerous and yet somehow more carefree. Now, I think most nostalgia is bunk. But compared to today's plastic sleds, riding one of these is like upgrading from a 1980s Yugo to a new Cadillac. Some things, it seems, really were better back then. All right, here we go. Woo! Woo! I'm Brian Donahue. This is Positively New Jersey. The library and the museum, by the way, currently open with limited capacity.